I'm Paul Pierce, captain of the Boston Celtics. Fit Club 34 and Empower Me Movement want you to get moving. Ready to have some fun? Let's go. It's not gonna take long, so I need y'all to get up. Let's go, let's warm up. Jog in place. So first one, we're gonna jog in place. We call it a high knee run. And then go easy at first. So we keep our feet closer to the ground. It's not as hard. As we start to drive our knees higher and really push through the ground on the other foot, it gets harder. A couple keys you guys wanna be thinking about right now. Drive your elbows back from your shoulder. Don't drum on me. Drive them back from your shoulder and get the balls of your feet on the ground. Now that we all warmed up, we're gonna get into a nice squat position. Show you a good squat move. This is how I do. Loosen up my hips, strengthen up my core, my glutes, and my quads. Most important, these things are important. So if you Everything guys see what do. Paul's doing, He's got his feet set first so that his toes are lined up with each other in the front. One foot's not up and back like this. He's sitting back with his hips and he's going down deep so that his legs are almost parallel with the ground. He's got his chest up, his eyes are forward. That's a perfect squat. If you guys are having trouble with that, just want you to keep your heels on the ground. Make believe there's a door behind you. And the first thing you're gonna do is push that door open away from you with your backside. Push, it push the door back and then ah. sit down. And if that gets hard, the easiest way is to start in your seat. Paul will do a couple more, but really just sit in your chair, get your chest up, and stand up from there. Now when you go down, you'll remember the pattern. You stay in the squat position, and you shuffle your feet either left, right, angle, either angle, right there. I see you staying in a small range so you guys don't bump into each other in the classroom back and forth. If you wanted to have some fun, I could shadow him. I could make a move. He could slide with me. So you guys can have some fun with this. You got crazy. I could try to touch one of his knees. Maybe he doesn't want me to. I got to block his hand. However you guys want to do it in your classroom, have fun with it. But once again, if he couldn't squat the right way, it's hard for him to get into this position to slide. So the squat's important. From here, now he can move. So from the squat position, I'm going to do a 360 jump. Uh-oh. Oh! So oh! you gave him a quarter now. He's giving you the 90. He's, hey, he's checking your math. Then you switch side. Now I give him all the way, like ah. halfway around. Front, so start in front. That's ah. the 180 right there. 180. Money. Ah. So you guys can break it down. Paul went to the easiest one, that quarter jump. The harder one is that half. And then the real hard one, I'm not going to try. He dunks, I don't. 360. The 360. <laughs> oh! And we're going to do what we call a line drill. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to step over, over, back, back, over that line, OK? Over, over. So just start stepping over the line. Now I started with my left foot. So we're going to stay here for another five seconds. Four, three, two, two one. one. Now we're going to lead with the right. Ready? Go. And it's different. You'll feel it. Got to lead with that right foot. Come on, get those arms moving a little bit. Get them arms moving. If you want to go faster, go faster. Who's got the fastest feet? I do. Show them, show them. I got it. I okay, got now, it. now, one foot forward, one foot back. All right. We're going to do scissors. Whatever leg comes forward, that leg, that arm goes back. Let's go, pick it up. Come on. Pick it up, Come we're on. almost home. And now we're going to go side to side hops. Last one. Set up sideways and we go. So now we're going to let that, that breathing come down. Start to relax a little bit. Once again, we're gonna stretch some muscles while we work balance on the other side. So if you gotta grab a chair, grab a partner, you guys are gonna do this. It's a knee raise or, or a hip leg raise. So we're gonna strong on this leg. We're gonna come up, stretch here. You can hold this for a few seconds. Put it down. Now we're gonna check the other side. How's our balance? Are we nice and tall on our leg? Are we holding our, our leg up nice and high? The greatest things that we can eat are things that have one ingredient in them, guys. It's that simple. And those things, fruits, vegetables, like apple. What's in an wow. apple? Apple. What's in a banana? Banana. Mm. When you see these, all these long names on ingredients of foods, they might be okay, but the best is fruits, vegetables, and things like chicken or fish wow. or eggs. They have one ingredient. They're the best foods for you. That's what professional athletes eat to be the best at their game. That's what you guys need to eat to, be, to have a, a great classroom experience. 
sport experience, but just to live healthy. Do you want more ideas on how you can eat healthier and move more? Visit truthonhealth.org or empowermetobe.org and join millions of other students who are getting healthy in their own life. And that's the Truth on Health.